my channel my name is Mary and I am outside today just for a change of scenery this is my service dog in training Frankie Lou but she's just kind of running around right now Frankie good girl say hi this is my other dog say hi Eli oh good man um and today's video is on standard poodles So, as always, we go over the pros first. The pros of a standard poodle is that they are generally big enough for mobility and um, light and he heavy mobility tasks, depending on which line you get. Uh, they can get between 21 to 30 inches tall again depending on the lines females are obviously going to be smaller than the males they are great for beginners they're super intelligent willing to please dogs they love praise they're food motivated but praise is really what they're after poodles have what's called poodle f <laughs> sorry i'm watching frankie do some really weird things outside um poodles have what's called poodle focus which is where if you're in the room, you're the only one they're paying attention to. They are polite to strangers and other animals, but they don't typically, they're not like super, super affectionate like golden retrievers or um, labs are, so they don't like gravitate towards people. They're also less likely to be approached or touched. Of course, that isn't always the case, but people are more likely to touch a lab or a golden over a poodle. Um, they're great for all types of work, so that includes psychiatric, mobility, medical response. Um, they're even used for guide work nowadays. They come in multiple different colors. So they have like black, apricot, cream, brown, or chocolate. And then they have what's called a party, where the, it's like white and white and black spots, or white and brown spots, white and apricot spots. Um, so they do come in multiple different colors. They're second in the intelligence scales, right underneath border collies. So you can participate in things like agility, sports, um, trick training. They're super, super intelligent dogs, uh, and a lot of people don't know that because you think poodle and you think like prissy kind of dog, but they're working dogs, um, super driven dogs, super great dogs. Uh, they have hypoallergenic fur, so that means that if you or somebody you know has allergies, then they don't shed as much, and they also are less likely to um, cause allergic reactions, which is great for service work, because when you're out and about, then um, you don't have to worry about people being like, you can't have your dog in here because of allergies. Um, it still might happen, but it's probably less likely. They are also, they also have like curly fur, which I've heard is super good for grounding. Um, some people don't like it, but some people do. Frankie! Hi, baby! Yeah, it's a good girl. Uh, poodles are really versatile. Like I said, you can do sports with them. Um, super intelligent, super willing to please. They are, uh, they have a really good, pretty good lifespan of about 10 to, I guess I would say about 10 to 12, 10 to 15 years. They do come with a string of uh, health problems, but from what I've seen, it isn't as much as like labs and goldens are. As for weight, they can be about between 45 to 90 pounds. So that's pretty big. Again, it's very big diversity between the sizes of these dogs. Um, so just investigate lines when you're choosing a breeder. Um, if you need a bigger dog, then I would look at bigger lines. Now for the cons of standard poodles, they can be pretty small. Like I said, they typically are about 21 to 30 inches tall, so there's a really big diversity between the heights 
of these dogs. Females are typically about like 21, 22 inches tall and about 45 pounds. Um, that's good for some handlers who don't really want a bigger dog, uh, but want a standard poodle. Um, grooming is a nightmare. If you are not into grooming, cannot afford to pay for grooming, then I would look at different breeds. A well-bred spoo standard poodle is typically really expensive. They can be like between twelve hundred to like three thousand dollars for a really well-bred one, uh, which I would recommend a really well-bred one over a backyard bred poodle because it's gonna um, help you in the long run for sure. And they are prone to issues like hip and elbow dysplasia, uh, eye cataracts. What is that thing called? Trachea collapse and um, cancers. So there's that to consider. They are a pretty healthy breed though. Um, I've also heard that they can have stomach issues. So gastrointestinal sort of problems. Standard poodles need a bit more socialization than say a lab or um, a golden retriever in terms of people because they are a bit more reserved. So you do want to socialize them with other people and other dogs because they can get a bit cranky. Um, but they are generally polite with other animals. Um, they don't. I've heard that they don't really have a prey drive. And the last con that I have for you today is that they can sometimes be too smart. Like Border Collies, if you do not give them a job, if you do not mentally stimulate them, they will create something for them to do, and you don't always want them to do that. Um, so you have to be on top of mentally stimulating them. You have to be on top of exercising them. They are very energetic. They um, do need lots of exercise uh, to keep them out of trouble, out of things like garbage cans or uh, counter surfing um, or tearing something up. So you do have to really engage with this type of breed. Um, but that is all that I have for you today. I hope that you liked the change of scenery. I'm just outside. Um, it's not the nicest day outside, but I thought it would be nice to film out here today. Um, but yeah, that's all for Standard Poodles. I was going to make another video yesterday, um, but I decided against it because I was really tired. And make sure to subscribe, hit that like button, and go and follow us on Instagram at Passion to Hope. It's the same type, same username as our YouTube channel. And yep, yeah. see you guys tomorrow.